right, let's discover another game, shall we? From the humble choice of this month, we have Deadly Days. That's the second game today. And uh, I'm not 100% sure if controller is the way to go or not. We'll have a look. <laughs> we'll have a look at the Deadly Days. I did update the thing. Yes. It shows the correct game. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Uh, I'm happy that we can check out six games from the Humble Choice. Oh, that's a cow, cow machine. What does it do? Uranium cows. Looks safe. And toast. Or is it jelly? Uranium toast cows. That makes sense. they make burgers obviously it's that lettuce then radium radium uh, radioactive lettuce <laughs> oh no work boo oh lovely music i need to i think the game got one hour to convince us I'm not sure. I think it's a shooter. <laughs> super time in super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Sorry to hear it, Portrix. I hope the rain's gonna come. Oh look, we're losing liquids. Burgers. Here are your burgers. Moo. We're dead. Okay. The zombies! The zombies! <laughs> the burger zombies. Oh. Oh god. The green car. Run away! Oh no, too late. <laughs> yeah, deadly days upon us, apparently. <laughs> Let's see. Jolly music. <laughs> Welcome to the tutorial. I'm your zombie teacher. Deadly Days is a strategic zombie survivor rogue elite. What? Rogue light. I will teach you everything you need to know. The ultimate goal, <laughs> rogue elite, uh, is to find the burger factory and prevent the creation of new zombies. Yes. During day, the game gets harder, the more the apocalypse progresses. The danger level. So day, danger. Okay. Each survivor needs one food at the end of the day, otherwise they'll stop. You start with two peeps. More can join. Andy Poggers, level one murderer. Every survivor has their own ability. This ability gets better when the character levels up. It takes viewer names, right? <laughs> um, you can level up. You guys, you're su the survivors. A rogue lead. And well, everybody's a zombie. Suck it, lurkers. For now, we need to find more weapon and food. Let's start a mission. Go. Well, you got a knife. Wait. So, Andy has a pistol. And Rogue Girl has a pistol as well. No, Andy's got the knife. Rogue Girl got the uh, pistol. Close combat expert. They do 10% increased damage against nearby zombies, whereas Andy has a 1% chance on hit to insta kill. Normal and special zombies. Enjoy the lurk! Don't eat your brains. Well, we'll see. Uh, you can level them up with the food. You can change the weapon by left clicking. Yes, it is. If you want to, you can turn that off. As scrap. And foodstuffs. Purchase and upgrade things. Special power. We don't have any special powers yet. We have no items yet. That's day one. Zombie level threat. Um, you can uh, turn off the Twitch integration. Uh, you can go for a pixelized font. I like this more because it's easier to read. Um, 
camera shake can be turned on and off and uh, you can toggle how the zoom works. I'm actually not sure how to zoom in at all. Anyway, so we can start and then we select either uh, this uh, scavenge mission, which is a bit smaller and has the same loot. So I'm going to go for the smaller missions, the same danger level. And we go into our loot bus and loot the stuff. Yay! The loot bus. <laughs> okay, move the camera of WSD. Use the left mouse button to send your survivors to an area. Go, loot. Yay! Use the left mouse button on a sparkling object to loot it. Loot the car. Loot the thing. Cool. Loot that. There's more loot. Da -da. Ooh, here are your objectives for today. Be sure to complete them all. Loot an airdrop crate, rescue survivor, loot an apple tree, destroy five trees with airstrikes. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, let's have a look. If uh, Andy and Rogue Girl can take care of this, huh? that's an airdrop crate, I'm sure. Oh, that takes a long time. A light machine gun, nice. Um, so, oh, we can't uh, we can't switch equipment while we are in the mission. Yeah, fair enough, right? Fair enough. We need to find an apple tree now. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, there's not much of a menu there. What's the banana doing there? Let's get inside. Get all the stuff. Use one to launch an airstrike at the specified position. <laughs> but press the one to loot the tree because that's... Oh, we got a survivor, the banana. Tia is a banana man. <laughs> With a pistol. Loot. Okay. We destroyed a tree. Oh, but yeah, okay. Now start the bus, move all your survivors to the bus to finish the day. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, fair enough. So it's an exploration, loot adventure, zombie survival pixel game. <laughs> That's a genre. <laughs> That's the genre. Ah, okay, I had to click the start engine bubble. In the tutorial, the danger, I don't know. Can always write them an email that their tutorial is not dangerous enough. We found some food and scrap, yay! Yeah, instantly leveling up people is possible. Upgrading with scrap. And we got freebies. Special powers can be used once a day. Let's see. Freeze gas drops a bomb which freezes our zombies. We could upgrade it for 60 scrap. You can unlock more slots with scrap later. Items. Yay. Yeah. We got a shooting target. Uh, so my survivors do 25% more damage in ranged combat. Powers as well as items can be upgraded with scrap. Yeah, try to equip new weapons. So Andy's gonna get... Ooh, a sword. It's broken though. Repair it. No. There you go, you've got a sword. Badass. And uh, Roko's gonna get... Oh, that's a, a light machine gun, that's cool. Yeah, you go. And then we've got the pistol and another pistol. No, that's a level two pistol that we have equipped. Okay. Um, we can sell the broken knife. For four scrap. And the old pistol. All right. And then uh, we level... Um, 
attacks, range, block chance. That's stats. Now those stats are uh, linked to the to the gun, and um, the the individual survivor has the different abilities we we see. Right, the one percent chance to insta kill against uh, nearby zombies. Oh, didn't that change? Close combat expert. Ah oh, well, okay. So let's. Uh, Let's give Rogue Girl the sword then. I did read that differently. 10% chance that killed enemies drop clusters of bananas. Okay. 1% per level up. 1% <laughs> is always a poopy thing to get. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> even if it's a good value, right? right? It's, it always feels a bit weird. Um, we will use up three food. Um, so given the chance that we would not find food in the next mission, we can still level up both, both of the other survivors, which makes a bit of a weird sound. Okay. <laughs> I don't really understand the type of music we're listening to right while playing this, but there you go. Uh, we can upgrade the freeze and the shooting target because we've got two ranged fighters, right? That's good enough. And then there uh, we go. Burger joint with more loot. Yeah, let's get some food. Oh, wait. Burger food is bad. <laughs> this is a silly game. Okay, there you go. Hold control to command your survivors to shoot at the specified position to destroy barricades. All right. Ooh, they heard that. Oh, they automatically attack. That's pretty cool. Ah. Yeah. Frozen. One of your survivors is injured. Oh no. Well, we don't need to help them yet. So many zombies. And they're approaching fast, huh? Okay, that's the edge of the map. Loot the car. Nice. Oh, there are many zombies coming from over there. You see that? We don't have... Uh, well, we've got an hour to, uh, to spend on this day. So let's see. Our golds destroy two barricades. Oh, what hit us there? Is friendly fire a thing? Kill the zombies. Oh god. Airstrike. I'm trying to... It's, it's a bit bad that the objectives are scrolling. I'm not sure if that's really necessary. But let's get some more loot. Okay, let's see. <laughs> slash, slash. Nice. Hmm, I thought the things that you can loot, they, they sparkle, right? Where's the uh, burger joint that we were supposed to loot? Find some food. All right, it's up there. <laughs> you found a burger shop. They give map pieces when destroyed. Uh huh. Collect enough map pieces to reveal the location of the final mission, the burger factory. I see. It has a health bar. <laughs> Loot. The others got you covered. It would be nice to see the characters' names on top of them, right? It's probably too much uh, screen clutter. Oh, an axe! And my axe. 
<laughs> okay. I think we can uh, move in. I'll check the objectives if we have done everything, but I think I think we have. Let's go this way. Have a look. Have a look around. <laughs> the campfires. Nah, but we should be fine now. Uh, there's a similar game to this. What was that called again? Where you also like control a swarm of units or something? I can't remember. Okay, so let's see. I think we have all the uh, objectives done. Oh, we need we need to heal someone. Okay, it's almost night time, so be careful of the zombies because they're getting stronger. Best to leave. It wasn't night time a second ago. <laughs> but it's the tutorial, right? It shows us the ropes. There you go. Perfect. Uh oh. Attack! The bus has broken down on the main road. How unfortunate. Looks like it's the end of the tutorial. I don't think they'll survive the night. Luckily, the bus won't break down like this in the normal game. What? Of course, they'll survive. Or not. <laughs> Dying is part of the game. Let's see if you unlock something new. All right. So you will lose your survivors and then you get XP. Failed horribly. Oh, that, that's, that's not nice to say because they were set up to fail. What did we get? A shopping basket, which allows you to get an additional airstrike. Our shopping basket is like that. <laughs> Random bomb drops sound safe. Okay, new unlocks for a specialization. Mm -hmm. So, survivors, weapons, items, and special powers can be unlocked. Okay. Fair enough. There's a daily challenge and then an explanation of the different survivors and zombies and so on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I see. Proper run. Yes. Uh, each specialization has different unlocks and some passives that are unique to it. Warfare, scavenge, research, and something you can unlock uh let's be a looter we start with a copy machine of course what after each day you have a small chance to duplicate your highest rarity weapon <laughs> uh the movement speed of all survivors is increased nice that's a special uh and you can preview the unlocks okay so each class has uh like 20 30 unlock things 21 yeah that's neat well, we have the shopping basket here, so it would be very efficient to do this. Oh, the research has coffee. Increases the length of the day. I tried that. It doesn't work. Um, map wide heal. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's do research. We can unlock uh, beds. Sick bed. Nice. 42. Okay, that was 50 minute or 10 minute tutorial. 10 minute tutorial. That was okay. Now we know what we do. Discord for streamers and Fellaheen. Yeah, so obviously you get view bots and such in, in there, which um, is probably n not possible to avoid. So I would I would um, actually enjoy it more to be able to uh, manually name the survivor since you have this hub and at the downtime, um, which makes you, uh, which enables you to avoid uh, stupid names, offensive names, 
uh, to be automatically picked in into the survivor uh, uh, thingy, right? And I'll just uh, have a quick look. All right, I can only do that from the main menu. I'll jump there real quick. Because I'm not sure how, how good the privacy of this game is, um, if it would, uh, if I click on um, Twitch integration, if it would show something that you're not supposed to see. I'm going to disable it. Um, you could also vote on missions. That's the other feature um, that the Twitch integration offers. Uh, but I'm going to turn it off for now because uh, I'd, I'd like to pick uh, viewers myself. I, w I would just enjoy that more, right? And get the game back. There you go. And we can continue. I wonder if the names are still the same. Yeah. They are now permanently named Discord for streams. Uh, yeah, so coffee. Mm. And uh, we have no. Okay, yeah, our first mission is just go. Uh, we've got three picks here size, loot, danger. Well, this is the better. I'm not sure if bigger size is in any way good. I mean, you've probably got more maneuver, maneuvering space. I'll maneuver the zombies? I don't know. In, with a group of melee fighters, it's probably better to have uh, not that much space. Loot the stuff. Oh. Cancel. Oh, I wanted to cancel that. Come here. Wow, okay, that was dangerous. Yeah, need to cancel that. Okay, we loot. You stand watch. Now that's different from the tutorial, isn't it? We take what we can. Okay, let's see. Fight them off. Ooh. I think we've got some time here to loot this. Do it. Uh. Very good. Level up is good. Come on. That was a quick loot. Interesting. Oh, we've got so many heals. Matt White and Unit heal also. So we. Oh, night time is gonna come. <gasps> That's quick. So it's, it's all about the timing to get as much out of it as possible. The bus is already. Already going. Be ready. All right. It was a map heal. So they, they, you know, in a pinch, they could uh, try to find another survivor. Since ammo is not limited, they just need to reload if they have a ranged weapon. Maybe we can get some more out of this, huh? They said night time is uh, more dangerous. Level up saved us. Oh man. Hard. Hard. Suddenly. Danger. <laughs> okay, so night time is super dangerous. We gotta find survival, though, right? Yeah, we got some new weapons. That's good. Um, increased damage for each apple in your base. 
Oh, this looks uh, interesting. So, it's an MP5. Very good. Uh, faster reload, more attacks per second, less range. And less damage. Okay, we sell that. Maybe we can give it to another survivor, huh? Yeah. What's this? A weapons workbench. I can unlock. Equalizer, impulse, executor. Also rooms. Build a room. Hmm. Whenever you complete all objectives on a given day, every survivor levels up. Repair the highest rarity weapon each day also adds a bonus mod if this weapon is not legendary. Cool. This is good. Uh, oh, yeah, I need 12 uh, tools. All right, I see, I see. Building rooms is not super easy. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, this costs tools as well. That wasn't explained in the tutorial. <laughs> hmm. Uh... <laughs> Anyway, I think we can't do much here, can we? We can level up. Ta -da! And then we'll do another mission. A cluster of vending machines. Find the airdrop. Oh, so much loot. I completely forgot about the objectives because I was so distracted with all the zombies. I actually like this, this game. At first I was not so sure. Um, oh, we can zoom out further, that helps a bit. Oh, we're robbing the graveyard. <gasps> Is that smart? There's a zombie <laughs> in his swimsuit. What did we... Were there maggots coming out of that? Probably. See, if I'm looking for a survivor, do you think I will find them on the graveyard? Loot all crypts. <laughs> nice. I'm very happy that it's not a twin stick shooter, actually. That would be bad. No, well, not bad, but it wouldn't be as good. Not sure if I can loot a crypt on my own. Takes a long time. Oh, let's bomb them. Yeah, they're gonna cluster around the crypt, eh? And then in 30 seconds, they'll be all, all leveled up. Oh, the optional objectives are optional. We, we see that now. Okay, let's nuke them now. Good. And then we can shoot some. Ah, we find a survivor in the crypt. Look at that. <laughs> Was hiding there. But why were you hiding in the crypt, dude? And uh, the names seem to be uh, barked now. Which is a bit odd. This would be a perfect game to manually name the survivors. Maybe you got uh, 56 survivors later on and then you don't want to manually name them. I don't know. But there's always someone funny in, in, in on Twitch, you know, going with uh, Biggest Diggers or something. Which would be not that bad. But there are worse things that people could name themselves and I don't want that in my uh, in my game. Well, that's the night time, right? We we do realize how bad that is. I would want more stuff, but oh god, zombie dogs! We made it. Awesome. How are we on food? Down to six. Yeah, well. And they are hurt. Ooh, a big ass melee weapon. 
You found survivors start at the level of the teacher. Okay. Increased damage for each apple. So it doesn't really matter what kind of weapon they have. It would be good if one of them had uh, a melee weapon. Like a sledgehammer, for example. <laughs> sledgehammer! Yay! And then... The Uzi can be sold. Nine scrap. Sell the knife as well. It puts us at 35. That's not enough, though, to uh, upgrade anything. Uh, I would like to heal them now, but that's apparently not a thing. Yeah, kick out the bots, but um, um, they would need to know what's a bot and what's not a bot, and not, not even Twitch knows that all the time, so I, I think that's kind of hard to pull off. Uh, I'm going to pick the lower danger. Hospital. So much loot. We will not be able to pick all that loot. There's so much uh, going on with the zombies. Oh, I can see myself play this a lot. Because, you know, it's it's, it's nice and easy. Play. Oh, I kill it. So they switch roles now. Advanced scouting. And if you time that correctly, it, it does work nicely. And salute the car. Yeah! Pick up and play. That's what it does. Exactly. It is exactly what it does. Oh yeah, the hospital. Hold the fort. Hold the fort. Food. Oh, that's a good defense. We're gonna loot it. We're gonna loot it. Bit of a pathfinding hiccup there. It's a long defense. Ten seconds until night time. Hold back. Yeah. We must be brave. Yes. <laughs> so we got two special things out of that. But yeah, I would agree. It's is pick up and play. It's uh it's kind of motivating to find out what all the different um, play player types are about and all the different weapons and upgrades and such and what suits you best without going too too far yeah i like it inferno and polymorph we got two different powers out of the hospital immediately transforms all special zombies into regular zombies cool Now we could further increase uh, how much time we have each each day. That's worth uh, it's worth an upgrade. Uh, we found a broken submachine gun or something. I'll keep that for now. And uh, do another mission. It's a passive bonus, yes. And depending on which uh, type of character, like we're the researcher, then there's the scavenger and the warfare, and one you can unlock. They all have different passive bonuses. 
So you can go for what suits your playstyle best. Ooh. Perfect. It would be good to find another survivor, but also we have to provide food for that, right? Loot, loot. Oh, that's all the way on the other side. I didn't see that. Uh, yeah, okay. That wasn't really clear. That you couldn't navigate that. Can I heal? That survivor didn't really get healed over time. I don't know. Let's loot that. Ah, you always have to look where the door is for the individual place that you loot, if it's not a car or something. Makes sense. Ba bam! Okay, so this is uh, in verticality. gonna send them both to loot how do you mean are you missing healing I don't know what you mean thirty eight seconds see that's that's the coffee upgrade that's already worth it smack him there you go. It's a long way back to the bus though. We might be able to loot something on the way back. see anything close by 11 houses are you serious there is an apple tree somewhere apparently level up nice i didn't see an apple tree <laughs> vending machine for scrap i could buy airstrike life steal as a special power okay interesting and a purple sledgehammer which is basically an upgrade to what i have but i can't or i don't want to afford that right now i'm looting a few uh few things still so the dogs are special zombies, are they not? Oh, come on, that's it. Home. Home. <laughs> A bottle collector? What? I didn't collect bottles. <laughs> um, they get healed during the mission. A new zombie has been sighted. These small, sneaky zombies are hard to spot, and even without arms, your scraps are unsafe. Uh, as in around the camp, or? Do we need to defend against them as well? Uh huh. Okay. Ah, 90 scrap is a lot. What did we... We didn't find any. Oh, we could sell it for... Four. It's an AK-47. Mm, I don't know. Alright, those are the rooms we could build. Three of them. Okay. Six. Ah, oh, yeah, and that's the history of what happened. Yeah, a bit of a pity that I lost someone in the in the very beginning. 
Um, level four, level three. Okay, I'm going to repair that. And I'm going to send them out both with a ranged weapon. Let's see, a gym. Hardware store. That's where we find tools. Build a room. Da -ding -ding. Um, not yet. I think if you unlock sick beds, you might be able to heal on downtime. Um, what is not clear is uh, how how the the health is determined that they come home with. If that's the health they had when I left, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, loot hardware stores. Lootable cars. There are six cars we can loot. Loot. Those are scrap thieves. Yeah, I needed that heal. The scrap thieves were kind of nasty. So they are special zombies. Oh, there's the hardware store. Necessary that they steal my scrap, if you ask me. Now I need to clear out a bit more before I can go. And loot the place. Wow, that takes a long time. They gather there. I can uh, I can nuke them. Oh, it's night time already. Crap. Oh what? What? But yeah, you're, you're probably set up to um, not get as far on the first runs, because, you know. <laughs> because... <laughs> okay, I unlocked a lot of stuff. Uh, a sick bed healing now spawns a healing zone that heals survivors over time. Ah, okay, that's in the mission. Base item. Um, I I don't know. And an auto shotgun. Cool. <laughs> Okay, so if we go back to the warfare, damage doubled on a, on a power, and the starting item is shooting target to do more range damage. Boop -a -doop, boop -a -doop. Jennifer Reed and Daniel Walker, welcome to the zombie apocalypse. Uh, let's get the airdrop. It could be worth it. This time I'm going to be a bit more careful. See if I can get further. It's a rather obvious risk versus reward kind of scenario. 
I sent the one with the pistol in, didn't I? Yeah. Let's find the airdrop. A minute. Looting cars is quick. That's a special zombie, maybe? So that's blinking, but we can't reach it. Or... Oh no, it's just hard to target it. Double damage. <laughs> 13 seconds. Still haven't found the airdrop. Uh oh. <laughs> Run away! But we don't have uh, nasty special zombies yet. Where's the way across? Here. <laughs> Oh yeah, there are the dogs. The dogs are back. Okay, 153, 121, 112. I think it's the health with which they get out that actually remains. They don't suffer anything else. Yeah, it is. It is a good game. Yeah, it's the health which we, which they take out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good game for what it is. It's a good game. Pick up and play for a few... I don't know, a few things. Yeah, we can't build a room yet. We've got one tool. Uh, it's a bit of a grind in the beginning. Um, so you will lose the first, I don't know, lots of games. Um, and that doesn't really matter because uh, you unlock more more things and more fun stuff. Mm. Really want to find an airdrop. <laughs> Okay, let's find an airdrop. Is it here? It's not super clear where where the map is. That's a bit odd. Sometimes I think it's fog of war and it's the end of the map and you know the other way around. Let's loot that place as well. But it becomes a bit of a, a bit of a ooh, auto shotgun. Come, becomes a bit of a manic thing very, very quickly. In a good way, I guess. The vending machine has uh, an axe, which increases our threat, though. Okay, so you can increase your threat. Spawns a brutal combat dog. It's a base item. How does a base item work? Only one way to find out. So now the threat level increased. It also does that automatically, but now we have uh, a, a super dog. Got some scrap. 25 seconds. Still haven't found the airdrop. Ah, there it is. Yeah, the airdrop. We got it. Back to the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back to the bus. Quick. 
we do something? Ah, uh, the apple tree. Where's the apple trees? Double damage. There are apples. There's a zombie dog. I haven't seen any apple trees. Easy to miss. Okay, it's a long way to the bus. Start the engine! Run! Jump, jump! Uh, it says, it says, a uh, base item, so I think it's something that you keep in the base, maybe. Oh yeah, right. Base items are the passive, uh, the passive things, right? So we unlock this, second slot, and now we have the dog. So base items are passives. Or in this case, it's an active passive. Anyway, uh, now we've got a doggy. A fierce... There he is. What's his name? Rudy. Uh, heals all the nearby survivors every five seconds. Cool. So it would be good if they had uh, a ranged weapon as well. An auto shotgun. Yeah, it's awesome. It's another auto shotgun. Um, let's go for an MP5. Equip that. And then I think the rest is history. That puts us at 34 scrap. Ah, super cool! Rudy the dog. Love him. Uh, I want more tools so I can do an upgrade to the rooms. Uh, a rare treasure zombie. <gasps> a forklift. Yeah, you mentioned that. So if we go back on the history, which is cool that we can do that. Uh, where was that? Here. Um, airdrop? Airdrop. Is what we did, right? And maybe the, the other options stay? The supermarket? I don't know if they stay or if it's randomly generated every time from a pool. But now we've got two auto shotguns. No, an auto shotgun and an MP5. And Rudy the dog. The fierce dog, I should say. What's Rudy doing? Rudy! Rudy! Come back. Let's bombard the supermarket. Oh, yeah, okay. Now we're talking. Rudy, watch it. Watch it. Nom, nom, nom. Now we can loot. Rudy's taking care of things. Nice. <laughs> Well, maybe the forklift can be uh, taken home as an item or something. Loot. Yeah, okay. So that purple auto shotgun was a super good drop. Uh, there's even more loot. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Yay, let's check this out. Oh, <laughs> bam. Yeah, see, end of the map. I, I don't really see a huge difference between that and... Uh... Oh, the reload takes a bit, okay. That and the fog of war. Nice, we looted so much food. Might as well find a survivor now. Uh, marked houses. There's a car. Forklift! Night time is approaching. Oh, we found tools. Threat level said four now. Now oh, we gotta take this home. Come on. You can do it. Nice. The healing bonus is really cool. Every five seconds or something? It was? I wonder if I can stay here theoretically indefinitely. You know, if I if I survive it. Level up. If it's kind of a safe place to be. Or if the night escalates that much. Let's double our damage. No, it's too much.
Yeah, okay, it's too much. <gasps> the level up saved us. The level up saved us twice. <laughs> Risk versus reward. Awesome. That was lovely. This good fun. This is good fun. Man. Not forever, not every day, obviously, but I like the style of this a lot. So we've got four tools. That is not yet enough for a room, sadly. Uh, okay. Uh, also not enough for that. Damn it. <laughs> to level that survive up to five as well. We didn't find a weapon. Uh, we don't have another special power, which means we've got 50 scrap. We could upgrade Rudy to be more brutal. Or do 50% more range damage. Or triple the survivor damage with the Berserk. I mean, you know, it's enough food for four days, so we could go level six on both. Got a few minutes, right? Yeah, nice. Uh, let's uh, level up Rudy. Super brutal doggy. This looks like I could click it. Loot chest and all that. Anyway. Uh, no, it's different. Oh, rescue. Survivors. <laughs> the, lots of zombies own their undies, right? <laughs> Dun -dun -dun. Yeah, we wreck. Unless it's night time. Okay, this is the end of the map, so we need to go up. I wish it had a clearer circumference. Um, that's the only gripe I have, because you have so many things that you need to watch out for. That looks dangerous. Uh, apple trees, yes. Marked houses. Rudy the dog. I haven't seen... Oh, this is... This is the one. That's the one. It's an airstrike. Come here. The door is here. Apple tree. Apple tree. Yay. Okay. Got a survivor. Means we can loot. Oh, I keep, I keep cancelling. I just... Uh, one mart house, three lootable cars. I haven't seen any lootable car. We should get out soon though. Better safe than sorry. Not the engine. Airstrike. No, I haven't seen any lootable car. Totally not a thing. Yeah, okay, let's let's bring the survivor. Level one, huh? They they are not yet. Heroes. <laughs> oh, level seven. <gasps> That's a lot. From two to seven. Got some scrap and some food. It's still si okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see. We don't have any weapon for you. That's not good. Um, we could level you up. But then again, the leader. Jennifer. But yeah. It's, um, you know, I can also stop here and continue at a later point. So you can play this for five minutes or ten minutes and then continue another day, which is pretty awesome. You can uh, find lots of different survivors. Banana Man, for example, or the teacher. And they all have different uh, abilities, except for the teacher, which is the standard survivor. Um, but yeah, you can you can have different murderer traits, superpowers, zombies, achieves, weapons, base items. So you know, it's uh, it's my it's my kind of chill chill game. 
I could I could hang out in this. It doesn't need too much brain power. It's kind of kind of uh, on on the medium level of uh, Welcome uh, of input. Hey, Le Shark, welcome. Thanks for the raid. Welcome in. We just checked out Deadly Days, uh, and I'm in the middle of giving my my two cents about it. What have you been up to, Le Shark? Thanks for the raid. Good to have you aboard. Oh, hi. Hello. Wolfman, thank you for the follow. How is it going? Have you been in the trains again? Thank you, Deviant Fish. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Ooh, did that got a uh, did that get a patch? Nice. I think it got patched, huh? Awesome. Um. Quick, uh, quick uh, finishing thoughts on Deadly Days. It's a pixel. A pixel graphics um, survival roguelike roguelite game where you have a few you start with two survivors and they have got weapons and special skills and you manage your basis uh, supplies and you can build rooms and modify your weapons with tools and it's all very very nice. You have lots of things to unlock. The shark, you might just enjoy this one. I'm not sure if this is on the console uh, um, anywhere. Deadly days. If you can pick this up for a few for a few uh, pounds or euro, um, it's it's actually fun. Maybe it's on a mobile platform as well. Do we find that out somewhere? Really cool game. Lots of unlocks. You can have different um, different play styles. Uh, you can be a scavenger or a researcher or a warfare person. You can unlock one more. And each of them have their own uh, things to unlock. Like the warfare, they unlock uh, an M M16 later on. And a grenade launcher. And uh, the scavengers, they unlock uh, a fire helmet. And different survivors that you can find then in the in the game. And um, you, you, you sort of passively fight in this game you send your survivors around and they shoot automatically so you don't need to target anything on your own they just you equip them and then they do their thing and each mission has you on a timer where you try to find as much loot as possible before you need to run away it's quite cool it's a very short kind of loop that works very nice um but i'm i'm not aware it has leaderboards also i'm not aware of uh, the platforms it comes on Deadly Days by Pixel Split. Good fun.